Hello and welcome back to this part 17 of our Fallout 76 2024 Beginner's Guide and Walkthrough. In our last episode we are here on the east side of the New River Gorge Bridge. So before we cross the bridge there's this little area here. We have this door, but that's a level 2 lock, so we'll have to come back for that. We don't get the level 2 unlock until level 19. Wow, this guy's going to take three shots. Hey. A little slow on the vats there. this vehicle we have some folks laid out take that toy truck and their booze remember drinking and driving never mixes now we'll come back here later not only to run this course but to investigate the area down below here we have a responder it seems to have fallen more booze Probably didn't need that combination wrench. Here's some movement. So we can jump down on top of this truck here. Or we could have come along the walkway below either way there's an explosives crate here oh I hear a took, took a little damage from that blood bug you want to be careful I have fallen down off of this bridge before and it is a long way down. A lot of trouble for just a bottle. Take care of these guys. Give him the double tap. hear more bugs up, probably up there above us so we can see the the course would take us over there
Hey, don't run for me. There we go. We could jump up to the higher level there if we wanted to, but we'll just stick here. A wooden spoon. Now that's worth it. Again, there's some more possible loot there. Oh. So the course would have us run up along the top. But we're just going to stick to the bottom here. Hey, you. Take your pencil. Wonder if we can get that on an area loot. Nope. All right. Here's a little area to tune up, which I think we'll take advantage of in just a minute. After we, ah. Uh, Come on, two. That's more like it. So while we're here, we can serenade the get this fantastic view of Appalachia. And we'll have to be careful not to step forward. Again, that's a long way down. To head back this way. Let's see, if hopefully, we'll pick up. Well, I'm not too worried about. Not sure what goodies are in that bus. Again, the last thing I want to do is take that long fall be awfully embarrassing. Why are you running from me? And you. And you. Uh, he might be out of range. Thanks for the locket. Something tells me there that bug is just right up there. Maybe that's why they're running. Anyways, if we get down to this end and there's a corresponding door, 
but it requires a key. We'll, when we come back, we'll have that key in our possession. And here we go up the other side. And we discover this location. Cowspot's Creamery. Anybody else want to come visit? And you get a shotgun to the head. There one more guy over here. I don't think we need the pin. That's just good for plastic. And anyways. Here's the finish line. Oh, you're way, way away. Along with some insects. But long way away is good. you and now with you I think he's going to be out of range. And a silver locket. Fantastic. They're feasting on a Brahmin down there. Or Radstag, I should say. All right, we'll let them go. Now back to the creamery. We've got three buildings. We have a storefront. Thank you very much. We have the actual production facilities back here. Then we have this house and a garage. Uh, not able to get into either of them, but there is usually some leather back here. A rabbit hide or something. Wood, we don't really need any wood. There it is, it's laying down next to the wood. be a bit of loot here on the porch. Let's see what's in this dryer. Yeah. And across the way, here we have the factory. Usually a ghoul or so in here. Oh, now what is this? Some raider scum. Now what are you doing? Where'd you go? 
Where'd I go? Yeah, I'm just right here. Where did you go? We'll come back for him in a minute. Ooh. Left us some caps. Thank you very much. We want to get in here. Like I said, there's usually a ghoul that likes to hang out in here. But there's also a workbench right there. So can scrap because there's lots of good stuffs in here there he is trying to sneak up on us that's uh oh is he not alone I hear some more footsteps Maybe he's out here on the porch. Nope. Anyways. Some goodies over here. There you are. Shotgun to the head for you. Hear more doors opening. There he is. Let's just take care of you right now. And a shotgun to the head for you. We don't need that plate. But let's go ahead and play this holotape. I talked to Sheila yesterday about finding some food. She said she'd give me the info about a place if I grabbed some food for both of us. So I agreed, and she pointed me to an old building nearby filled with machines that could make something she called it cream. No, I never heard of it, but she promised that it tasted good and it would keep us both from starving. According to her instructions, all I had to do was push a button and the machines would start cranking out bottles. What she forgot to tell me was that it would be loud as hell and attract every creature in earshot. It took everything I had to fight the things that swarmed the building. I barely made it out Let's of there alive. see if we get alive. a good mod out of this crossbow. <laughs> if anyone nope. finds Darn it. Us, tell Sheila. That I'm keeping all the damn bottles of cream. Hey, got a mod out of that. She can come get her own. So we finally did get a mod from scrapping some armor. Imagine that. So let's go find this raider scum. What did you have for us? Oh, you had some goodies. We're going to leave you with your outfit. We have this little outdoor area. Let's get back into the gift shop area here. Oh, I hear some more activity. Cola, thank you very much. More Nuka Cola. People enjoying their cream. What do you have for us? Ah, some goodies. Let's try our luck with the. Porta Diner. In all my years, I have never gotten the pie. Hey, where'd you come from? Heard you wandering around. You need to wait in line just like everybody else. So behind the counter, we have some goodies, some more sugar.
some monies. We'll get that pencil. And the safe. Some goodies, more sugar, tons of cream. Now we can drink the cream, but you actually get some rads out of that. Although, let's see where we are. Still well tuned, well rested, but we could use some foods. So, let's see where we're at on our soups. So, corn soup, brain fungus soup, glowing fungus soup. Got some baked boat fly. Oh, we got some carrot soup. It's good stuff. And how about a Nuka Cola? Top us off. Now here we find this corpse and Carrie. She'll be important, so remember her. We'll have to come back for her later. She has some important doings. I'll show you on the map. She's involved with this area right here, which is the drier water treatment plant. So we'll have to come by and we'll for back for her later. So at the front door you can go and there is this little play area over here. usually a Kim box, yeah. So Kim stash in here. Come on. Thank you very much. I think that's just about it for the playground. Now our next place we want. Oh, I hear another raider. You did know it. It was us. Now, are you alone? Now, what we'll do here... Now, what on earth is this? Just a rock? I suppose so. We're going to investigate this area over here these orchards. We have to be careful sometimes Mr. Handy Robots are not friendly. We seem to be okay at the moment. Thank you Mr. Farmhand. We see some raider scum there. Most likely taken out by the farmhands who are protecting the orchards here. Some toxic goodness right there. We're going to let that go kind of stay away from that. In fact, there are a couple little toxic areas around here we want to avoid. But one good thing about the farm is we've got multiple workstations. Here's a Tinker's workshop, workbench. in here. 
Nothing in that toolbox. See what's back around here. Nothing here. That's no good. Here is a weapons workbench. And upstairs. Over here we have a safe. Level zero safe. Up. Nope, it is to the right. Oh. There we go. We get some goodies there. I think that's about it. There's, yeah, nothing out of here on the roof. Nothing on top of these boxes. There's a duffel. Get some more ammo. All very good. And a gas can. I'll take that. Now cross the way here in this shed. In this trash can here, we get another holotape. Mr. and Mrs. Bennett Orwell, we of the West Virginia Lucky Hits Lottery Company are pleased to inform you of the result of our November lottery game, held on the 10th of this month. Your names are attached to Lucky Hits, Lotto Ticket 59, 28, 42, 88. We are overjoyed to tell you that this ticket was November's Lucky Lottery winner. It's the largest single month game in Lucky Hits history. You are hereby approved to receive an immediate cash payment in the amount of $300,000. Mr. and Mrs. Orwell, congratulations! A local Lucky Hits Prize representative will be arriving at your residence on November 30th, just a few short days away. To avoid any unnecessary mix-ups, please contact our headquarters as soon as possible to confirm your home address. Now, we advise that it's in your best interest to keep this news from the public's attention. We value all of our Lucky Hits customers, and we can't wait to hear from you. Once again, congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Orwell, winners of West Virginia's largest ever lottery game. Well, that's great that they won the November lottery, considering that the bombs fell in October. <laughs> so how lucky were they really? go ahead and scrap all of that. Now, we did find a mod, a, or I mean we did, yes, yeah, when we scrapped some leather, learned a new mod, so let's see if we can't upgrade from boiled to studded. That's right. And where's our other arm? That should help some. I think this is probably... Let's see, did we pick up any mineral? Nope. No miscellaneous for that. Is that how we want that? Oh, let's see. Did we pick up? Nope. Girded is still the best we're going to get there. So that's all good. Now be careful. There's more radiation there. Now, there's all the barns and outbuildings. Here we see some more corpses. I don't believe those were the lucky lottery officials. I'm 
going to guess that these were raiders attacking the house as they looked rather fresh. I will investigate upstairs here. And on this dresser we find a note. Well, let's take that cigar. And we find Cheryl's note. So she's saying that Ian's gone to Charleston to try to get more money. They're almost out of money. It's going to be a rough year. So she's unaware that they have won the lottery. We have. And then we have this. a little oh I might have gone too much let's see there we go lots of good stuff there sorry mr. farmhand just looting never mind us not sure what these individuals did to trigger your ire but we can also go down here to this basement. Where we find another blonde haired raider corpse. Behind, we'll take that stim pack out of that box. Another toy truck. Don't need any more bottles. And then there's this door to the Orwell bomb shelter. Now we're not going to go down there just yet because we'll be back here as part of a Brotherhood quest. So not only we will be will we be coming back to get to the bridge and discover the little workrooms underneath it. But we will also be coming back here to the Orwell's house to go down to their bomb shelter as part of a Brotherhood of Steel quest. So our next place that we'd like to go, let's see if we can kind of get by here. Let's get by these poor unfortunate souls. Nothing to scrap there. Is we're going to head down to the giant teapot. Which is just down the road here. Oh, now what's this? I'm going to vote. Super Mutant. Where'd you go? Wonder if maybe he's not alone. Oh, there he is. bone we'll leave you with that and there it is the magic teapot or giant teapot but first I'm gonna go visit this little house here 
and talk to this, the Mr. Handy that lives there. There he is. Challenging day. Yes, Mr. A nice cup of tea will make the world right again. Welcome. Welcome. I'm thrilled that you've come to view our own giant teapot. One of our many claims to fame here in Appalachia. I would serve you a most delightful cup of tea if only I had more honey. Perhaps you could find some. Why, yes. Yes, we can. Let's get some honey, then. Excellent. The forest, I expect, is teeming with it. Best start cracking. All right. And we will. So that gives us a quest. Let's turn this one off. Called Strange Brew. So let's collect these ten honeys. And if we pull up our map, now that we have it, oh no, don't tell me it's way over here. Nope, that's Polly's head. Well, usually there's some honey, like, right in this area. You just don't have to go very far. shotgun ready for this. Like I said, usually it's just right down here amongst these trees. I don't know why the beehives didn't... Oh, I see them. There they are. We can see the the bees there. <coughs> yes, shotgun is your best friend when it comes to swarms of bees. <coughs> and where is their honey tree? There it is. So generally, when you get the honey, it will trigger a swarm. now have our tin and it's back to Sweetwater. Little rad stag meat and hides, don't mind if I do.
And let's go find Sweetwater and give him his honey. Let's say hopefully he's not in the house because there's actually some challenging day. Well, a nice cup of tea will make the world right again. It's oh gracious, you're back already. How wonderful. Oh, delightful. This honey will be the final touch on my special blend. Please do return to brew up more if you enjoy the surprisingly subtle flavors. Can we get some bucks? Always a pleasure, sir. And usually the recipe? There we go, the sweet water blend recipe. Now, My goodness. there's some... Our guests do choose the most fascinating tea party attire. Some good scrap Very down here, but there's usually some annoyingness up here. So let's get rid of that while we can. Anybody else? Sometimes it's bugs, sometimes it's rats, sometimes it's... Anyways, next to the sewing machine, there's like always a bobby pin Challenging box. Day. A nice cup of tea will make the world right again. We'll leave that wrench. Really have all the... Don't need that mechanic's jumpsuit. But what A we would like... Said, is there's, there is tea next to this toilet, there is sometimes a bobblehead. That's a bobblehead location. A little silver there. And there's usually a Kim in the sink. You have to be kind of tr careful, especially when going for the bobblehead, not to fall through the hole there. Let's see if I can make it. My goodness. Stand on the toilet. Our guests do choose the most fascinating. And tea there's our stim pack. Very innovative indeed. And back downstairs. Come on. Ah, there we go. Now you can also trigger an event. Again, friend. Fancy a spot of tea. I don't know if we'll trigger it, but while there is tea, there is hope. I prefer my hope black with a touch of honey. Oh. But anyways, so if you do trigger this event, the the event is to protect the teapot area while it brews tea. That's way away. And what you do is you hit the start button here. I prefer to do this with others. It's a tough one to do by yourself. Because you've got to protect this pipe right here. You've got to protect that pipe right there, as well as that pipe right there. So usually it works better with two to three people, each covering an area. And then we have this red rocket. Come on out. Don't make me come and get you. Where did you go? Oh, we got an accidental discovery. That was nice. Take that adjustable wrench. Now, where did that bug go? There's a workstation back behind here. This is Poseidon Electric right there. I want to get that. There you are. Did not want you sneaking up on me. That's some good chems. Nothing in the new cola machine. Need that bottle, but there is a mod. 
Let's take that mod. Oh, I didn't really want a bottle. Across the way, there's usually some food and water. It's all good. There's our stash box. And then again here is the workbench. I'm not going to scrap and store here because our next stop just across the way and I'll show you on the map, is Charleston Station, which is where we will move our camp to. So let's go ahead. We ha should have just enough time. To get over there to Charleston Station. nice that we already got the discovery for the power plant. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Or gal. Sonny, why don't you kill a couple more raiders before you start walking around here like some hot shot? Got okay. Any I just don't feel right without my medicine. Well, when what I'm do you need? Day tripper, every day's a great one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Looks like we've just got the psycho. <laughs> it's not what I'm looking for, but it'll take my mind off things for now. You can have this. Oh. Well, Why gave me. Why do you kill a couple more raiders before you start walking around here like some hot shot? All right, I will. I promise. I promise. I will. Kill. And here we are at the station. Oh, completed a daily challenge. That was nice. Again, make sure you keep up with your daily and weekly challenges and are getting the bonuses for each season. You know, people ask, uh, don't you ever get tired of playing this? I do appreciate the uh, daily and weekly class. There's always a a good reason to come back and play for an hour or so just to get that out of your way. All right, we have a banjo that we can play here to tune up. Of course, we'll have our camp set up across the way. This is a great place to set up camp. I'll show you where in a minute. So here's our stash box, here's our vendor bot, and here's a weapons workbench. Of course we've already looked at the map and got the location of all the railway stations. We've already read all the posters. So across the way here, in this open spot by this tractor, this is a great place for a camp. You've got lots of nice flat land to plant your crops. Fences will actually work. So I'm going to go do that on camera. I'll do that off camera. We'll set our camp right here. And then we will be set up to investigate down here in Charleston where we will look for Dr. Hudson's research or you know we did get all the way down here I may in the next video 
start up here and follow this road down because there's lots of good locations along the way here as well as Camden hmm what to do what to do oh well tune in for the next episode and you'll find out what we choose to do as always thanks for following along if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing and if you'd like to support the channel in a more meaningful way you can always join and become a super subscriber make sure to click that notification button so you do get notified as new videos become available thanks again for following along and we will see you in the next video